Hey guys, I review it, Dan. Oh, right. Uh, so I guess you noticed that Utaku Kent is actually on vacation right now. So I'll be doing our random talks alone. Only this week. He should be back next time. And unfortunately, yes, this is very late as, well, we usually had them out. Uh, usually it's going to be between Wednesday through Friday, depending on how our schedule are. But this week has been especially hard for me uh, due to work. But I at least want to try to get something out. Uh, the topic I'll talking about tonight, I might bring up with Utaku Kent to get his opinion on. Uh, only two subjects that I really had interest in right now are actually two movies that will be coming out very soon. Uh, the first one will be Godzilla 2. And, whew, wow, I'm uh, surprised. They said, I believe, 13 monsters will be making an appearance. Uh, we all know who's going to be the main stars. Godzilla, duh. King Ghidorah or Ghidra. Whatever preference you want, I honestly don't care. He looks beast. Uh, Mothra, Rodan. Any more? Hmm. I'm not sure if there's going to be a, uh, w which one will be there. Maybe Angerus. Um, the Armadillo Spike Ball monster, which is really cool. Uh, so far, it looks like the humans of the movie have upgraded weapons to actually fight the Kaiju now. Which is pretty good, considering that so far, since Godzilla first came out, no one's developed a weapon of sorts to actually fight off a Kaiju. And it actually looks like they're, they're going to be helping Godzilla. Good idea. Help the monster that's from your planet to defeat a monster that's trying to destroy your planet. Good job. Smart move. Smart move. Uh, I, just, I really just hope that they don't just have the main focus on the humans. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have human characters with good story, but when the title of your movie is the name of the monster, you need to have a good focus on them. Sadly enough, in the first movie, all the focus was on the human characters and the monsters were fighting in the background at a camera shot. Yeah, I, I like the movie itself, but I was still mad we didn't get to see a lot of monsters fighting. Uh, hopefully that changes now. Um, the second one, second movie, and if you haven't heard, I'm honestly surprised. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, so far when we got the leak of what Sonic would look like, I, okay, to be honest, I had no problem with it. I, yeah, I know it doesn't look like Sonic the Hedgehog, but from what I thought, yeah, what I thought, it would be, you know, good enough. Uh, the trailer looked really nice. Jim Carrey playing Eggman. That one, I almost had my doubts for this. But Jim Carrey does play a good Eggman. So, Jim. Jim. Oh, man. I love it. Um, now, we saw Sonic in action. Uh, I even asked my mom about this. <laughs> she said... Uh, Oh man, what she, what did she say? She said he looked like a weird looking teenager with a, like a fur pelt or something like that. I'm just like, you're not wrong. Uh, and I honestly thought that that was probably the best that CGI could probably do for them. It wasn't until we actually had someone who was a fan basically do a CGI over picture of a Sonic they made. And then I immediately went and said... Okay, so you guys have a lot of money in this movie, and you can't make Sonic look like his actual game and comic versions. I mean, the games and comics, they look exactly the same. The movie looks nothing like him, which is sad to say. Thankfully, though, the director listened and even said, All right, we'll change him to the way he needs to look. And the only thing I need to say to you, director, is... Take your time. If you need to delay the movie, do it. Delay the movie if need be. Don't try to rush it. Trust me on this. Many people try to rush something to please the people. Don't please the people. When you take your time to make it look nice, it's going to look wonderful. Uh, 
so far, from what I can guess from the movie, though, either this is a fusion of Earth and Mobius, the planet that Sonic is from, or this is just Earth with animals talking for some unknown reason. Um, let's just hope the story plays well more than some of his games have. And, well, that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah, pretty short. Utaku can't really get the news better than I do, and he just tells me what I need to hear from what he pulls up. But, uh, overall, guys, that's it. I'm Viet Dan. I hope you all had a blast. And for Utaku's uh, sake, uh, don't forget to stay random.